What's up TV Pan dudes? Peter Brown Panda here. Hey, I just bought this. It's from Watch Air TV, which I believe is watchairtv.com. Uh, you can also get it on Amazon and whatnot. And it's an antenna and transceiver for video. And it allows you to stream from uh, over the air television signals through your internet router to like an iOS device, right? Or to your TV if you want to, or to an Android device or to a smartphone, tablet, that type of thing. I have been super excited about checking this out. Uh, let me kind of make the case for it a little bit as I unbox it here. I'm, I'm super stoked about seeing if this little bad boy works. Um, you know, there isn't a lot of information out there and there aren't a lot of really good options, I think, when you're trying to cut the cord, right? And even if you're not trying to cut the cord, one of the things that I'm really excited about, this one's in white, it comes in black, FYI, uh, is that, you know, uh, even if you're not trying to cut the cord from cable specifically, you know, watching TV on the road, like when you're traveling, which I will be here uh, quite a bit, maybe this fall, uh, you know, it's not that easy to watch the TV that's local to your network area. And... Um, this is going to really help that, right? And I know there are more and more apps, but the other thing is there's no subscription service for this. So we do have a, a power brick here with a nice long cord. I like how everything is in white, so this, it's really clean looking. We also have some mounting hardware here, a couple of screws, and uh, looks like, a, I don't know, an antenna line adapter. We have a back plate. So my, in the, with 3M adhesive tape, this is for mounting it to glass, I believe, in the window. Obviously, if you're going to use an OTA over-the-air antenna, uh, to capture signals, you're going to want it, you know, not obstructed as much as possible, right? So this goes on the back here. Um, and so I have been really, really looking for something. I've thought about sling boxes. I've thought about, you know, all sorts of things. To be honest, um, I'm actually kind of expecting to not have to even connect this to a TV, although I'll use it for setup purposes to try it out. Uh, but, uh, you know, I'll have it as a standalone. So if I want to watch network TV, you know, sports games, particularly this fall, which tends to be a lot of... Uh, you know, basketball, football, Saturday, Sundays, college, whatever it might be, uh, you should be able to do that. So here is kind of the, the business end of this little bad boy. I think uh, we have like a kind of a, a textured silver button here, uh, a clear plastic ring. I think that's going to light up. We've got the Watch Air logo. And then what we have on the side here are kind of all the business components. So we have an antenna port right there, micro SD card slot, a reset button and a pinhole, a USB port, and then the power cable will go in there. You can see how the uh, the mounting plate, these teeth would fit, cut it upside down I think, fit it in here. So if you want to, you know, mount it to glass or the wall or something like that, you, you could use that. And then, of course that, oh, it looks like it kind of does, there we go. So we have <laughs> this piece, and I think this is because this is where you're going to use the antenna. So you can see, I don't know if you can see it down in the bottom there, you have the little antenna port. So if you're not using your own purchased antenna, it does come with this antenna, which is pretty awesome. And I think actually for the price point on this bad boy, it's kind of amazing. So you get this big flat antenna, pretty cool looking. And then you just slide that in there where that plastic plate used to be, and it'll snap in there. And we've got a couple tabs that'll snap it together and hold it together, I think. So I like the fact that it has a little resistance so I can feel like it's in there more snugly. Just make sure all your tabs are lined up so that you're not pressing against plastic. There we go. Got it in there. Nice. In there nice and firm. And now it's pretty cool looking, to be honest. I mean, how cool is that? Um, I think from a product design and standpoint, this thing looks pretty pretty wicked so good on you guys a watcher and then here's where um, you kind of will see that it's powered up you have some venting around here oh uh, man I think pretty good looking so I don't think I'll need this um, I actually might attach it to glass I'm not sure I was actually thinking of maybe making a little bit of a, uh, a base or something so that I could just stand this up maybe behind my TV but we will we'll cross that bridge when we get to it and then uh, here is the power cable for it. Now, one of the things that you might have noticed here is that there's like no HDMI out. Assuming maybe you can stream it to your um, Apple TV or things like that. And then I know there are some additional instructions on their website too. So let's go ahead and get this thing set up and let me walk you through that and then we'll start testing this little bad boy out. All right, so I took the backing off the back plate here and I'm actually just gonna put it on the glass. Now, there is the app to kind of locate the best place to put your antenna. Uh, if you want to stick it on glass, 
I think the key is you want to stick it uh, on glass that's facing the direction of wherever the TV broadcast antenna. So in my case, they're coming from the south uh, towards the city of Chicago. And so if you can point them in the direction of where the TV antennas are, great. If not, you know, I think you still want to try to keep them as well positioned as possible. Now, I will also say, you know, that might be on the second floor of your house. But uh, the other thing is that you actually uh, are going to connect this uh, to your Wi-Fi router. So you want to have it, you know, apparently on their uh, website, they kind of say, you know, within 20 feet, if possible, you know, line of sight of the Wi-Fi router. But, you know, in this case, my router is just over here. So, you know, I'm definitely within 20 feet, but I'm, I'm not right on top of it. So, but I'm just want to demo this. Now, the other thing I want to point out here on the uh, Watch Air system itself, which I actually think looks really beautiful. I actually uh, like the fact that, man, I think it looks great because, you know, this could have easily looked like something very utilitarian, but it's really modern and clean and cool looking. Is that, uh, that I want to point out here is that there's a power outlet right here on the side, but there's a power plug right here on the bottom too. So especially if I'm going to mount this on the wall like this, there we go. Um, having the cord drop straight down is probably going to be the easiest thing. And then let's go ahead and just plug this in. And the lights are going to come on here, showing that the sucker is going through its thing. And now let's take a look at how we get this connected to your network. So basically this is kind of putting out its own Wi-Fi signal and you want to open up your, you want to download the Watch Air app. So go to the app store. And I believe the app is labeled under Watch Air Space TV. And so you're going to want to download that app and then you're going to open it and you're going to have to create an account. Obviously, that's going to be the first thing you're going to do. Now, I've already done that. So we're going to be past that first screen as we look at the rest of it. I've already set up my account and opened it up. But here is uh, the next screen and it's showing you how to install the antenna, either like I have with the antenna that they give you or you can connect it via cord to uh, your existing antenna if you have something mounted on your roof or something like that. Now, here is where you're gonna wanna connect the device, in this case, my iPad, to the Watch Air, um, you know, antenna and uh, receiver. So, looks like basically what you're gonna find is a network that starts with WA, Watch Air, and then some sort of six characters. So what we're gonna do here is, uh, I'm gonna to go to my iOS settings and connect it. Wireless networks, and this is the one I want, the Watch Air right there. And if it asks you for a password, the password is actually the same as the Watch Air name, I believe. So I'm just gonna do try that, W-A. And boom, looks like we're connected. Now, if we go back to the Watch Air app, do we wanna to update to the Watch Air software? Sure, yeah, you bet I do. Always want the latest, and I always think uh, having the latest firmware is going to help kind of make sure it's uber reliable. All right, so when it reboots, it loses the connection, and so you actually have to go back into settings and reconnect it to the Wi Fi network, which I did. And it asked me, Did you exit this app and choose Watch Air as your temporary Wi Fi? Yes, I did. Now it's going to ask me which. Um, Wi-Fi network do I want to connect to? And then you just have to put in your password to your current Wi-Fi network. And go ahead and hit connect. All right, once you do that, it says connected. Let's hit next. And live channel scanning. So it's gonna to start to scan for the channels that it can pick up. So let's hit that and see what it finds. Okay, just completed scanning, and it's been a while since I've had rabbit ears, you know, as an antenna on my TV, but I'm pretty impressed. You know, I didn't really optimize this for reception yet, but it did find 30 channels, uh, varying signal strengths, so I'm pretty impressed with that. I guess I just didn't realize how many channels are, are over the air, so let's go ahead and hit next here, and it's going to try to download channel info, and it's downloaded. 
it next. So the app looks pretty polished and it's kind of loaded up with a bunch of stuff here. Uh, there's a section right here for available now, which I think we can watch live TV. It's also got some channel lineup stuff, so available soon. So I noticed here, if, like I tapped on Rockford Files and then hit play, what it looks like it's going to do is it's going to remind me when it's on because it looks like a little alarm clock. So I'm hoping I'm right about that. But uh, obviously what we want to see here is can we play something um, that's live on TV? <laughs> Why not Columbo? Because I think the NFL is going to come after me if I use them. So we'll just hit play there. And with that. Now I think this is... Uh, Legitimately live TV. I'm just going to turn it down here a little bit. Well, I'm just going to assume it uh, it's going to come on here because these all seem like legitimate commercials. If I tap this, I can go back to that main screen. It's also showing me what I think is signal strength up there. And then it's showing me where on the program, you know, kind of like any streaming TV, it is down there. So it's pretty cool. I think I can also... Um, record this if I want to and what I understand it to do is I think it's going to record it on my iPad so if I hit record there I assume I'm recording it and then I can go to my recordings up here and it looks like it's recording it now so now I'm just going to go back here to home and let's just go back and hit Columbo, and it just, you know, goes right back. Now, as you know, regular uh, over-the-air television has a ton of commercials, so you're going to get a bunch of those. But first of all, let me tell you, iPad Mini here, it takes up a full screen. The resolution looks uh, just fine. I'm actually thrilled with the speed here. You know, I, I'm not getting any pixelation or jitteriness, you know, in, uh, or anything being reflected like that in the, the, the sound as well. So... Man, I'll tell you, I'm pretty impressed with this sucker. It was pretty easy to set up. Now, if for some reason as you're setting it up, you know, something goes wrong, the app freezes or something like that, and it looks like Columbo because it's a narrow box and kind of grainy. Um, so that's pretty cool. So if, um, if you're setting it up, there is a little pinhole on the side, which I showed you. Just put a little... Uh, you know, paper clip in there and holds it down for about 10 seconds or 15 seconds and it resets. You know, I actually went through this process twice to see if I could you know, uh, wipe everything out and put it on a different wireless network. Your, your wireless router might have a guest in a public and a private network, those types of things. So uh, you certainly can do that. And I actually reset it and wiped it out and, you know, reset it up again. So you can kind of reset it up from scratch or if you want to sell it or if you're buying a, a used one, you know, you could do that too. And so I'm really impressed. My, my purpose for this was, you know, if I'm going to hit the road, and want to watch TV, if you live in a location where you're watching like Detroit, the Lions games, you hit the road or you're not at home or whatever, uh, you could stream those over the air uh, shows to your device. Now, to, to have this projected to your TV, you're going to need one of two things. You're either going to need a smart TV that you can download the Watch Air app to, or you're going to need um, some sort of streaming box like a Roku, Chromecast, or Apple TV. And then what you can do is you would basically have to mirror it to, in my case, the Apple TV to watch it, or, you know, the, the plug-in adapter, that AV adapter. So you could certainly do that too. Uh, but this allows me to be on the road and watch all my, uh, my games, you know, like my Lions games, baby. So really great for cord cutting, uh, having access to kind of all that main over-the-air broadcast television without paying monthly subscription fees. I think this thing actually looks really nice. It's not a bad device to display. You know, in the white here, it's uh, pretty bold, but you can also get it in black if you want it a little bit more subtle. And again, you know, streaming to my iPad without any problem. So I am totally, totally stoked about that. I mean, I think it's great. And, you know, if this continues to hold up and kind of serve me well over the next few years, I'm going to be really thrilled about it, you know, particularly because you won't have to pay for you know, $35 for YouTube Live or some of the other uh, kind of network, you know, local streaming services. Um, that being said, how much does it cost? Well, the retail price on this is about 160 bucks. You know, you can shop it around, go to watchairtv.com. You can buy it there. You can buy it on Amazon. I'll put a link to both. But, uh, you know, that's pretty much an out-the-door price. 
you know, between 99 and 160 bucks, you can get one uh, that fits your needs and not a bad deal. Like I said, no fees above and beyond that. So really impressed with it. Watch Air TV. Uh, I'm going to be trying it. I'm going to be trying it because this is how I'm going to be watching my Lions games. Uh, so uh, maybe we'll have future reports on it. But so far, I am stoked. What a great out-of-the-box product to help me watch uh, network television. Peter Von Panda out.